Hello and welcome to this video in which I'm going to show you how to uh, how to perform um, analyze the simple linear regression using Stella as well as uh, how to uh, make a scatter plot of a of uh, to represent uh, the link between two variables. So the simple linear regression is a statistical technique that is used when uh, you are going to uh, see uh, the link, uh, the relationship between uh, two quantitative variables. So it's a simple way to uh, analyze the uh, uh, to see a relationship existing between uh, Variable. So, uh, to run uh, a linear regression in Stata, uh, it's important to know first of all how to represent the uh, regression between two variables uh, the, in the scatter plot. So, uh, we in this tutorial we will show you uh, a, an example of relationship between uh, the GDP growth, annual growth. And the cross fixed capital formation of the uh, private sector. So, first of all, let us uh, look at the plot. So, to make a, a, a scatter plot of uh, regression, let us go to graphics, two way graph, and then uh, scatter line, just right click on it and have the uh, opportunity to create your uh, scatter plot. So click on create and then uh, choose a scatter plot at default value. So select your Y variable. My Y variable here is GDP group, annual group, and my X variable is uh, the cross fixed carol formation for private sector. You can sort uh, variable on X. So we keep by default option and then click on accept and then click on OK and you will see that our scatter plot of uh, is uh, here appearing on the screen representing the uh, relationship between uh, the annual GDP growth and the fixed capital formation in the percentage of the, uh, the GDP. So uh, to run the linear regression uh, instead of to see the relationship between the two variable uh, GDP growth and uh, cross fixed capital formation, go in statistics, and then uh, linear um, and related, then go to uh, linear regression. So uh, we select the dependent variable here is uh, growth, annual growth, GDP growth, and then independent variable here. Is uh, cross fixed cover of formation in the case of multilinear regression, you can select many uh, more than one variable. So, in this case, we we'll, uh, keep uh, we'll select only one variable for the purpose of this, uh, this video. So, we have we can create uh, the model without constant, so plus uh, the constant term. So, we we'll keep uh, this uh, by default option, we click on OK can see that our regression is here uh, appearing in the, in the screen. We have, uh, first of all, the ANOVA result. In this table, we have a uh, number of observations. There are seven observations. We have Fisher uh, 135 degree of freedom uh, equal 9. The probability of uh, Fisher is equal to 0 0.00. .00 that our model are globally significant. We have the RR square, which is uh, 0 0.0, 0 0.2. So uh, we have uh, our model here, the coefficient of the uh, regression, the coefficient of the several formation is uh, here equal to 0 0.61, and the p-value is uh, 0 0.005, less than 5%. Meaning that our variable cross fixed our formation influence significantly on the variable uh, GDP growth. So uh, the coefficient is positive, meaning that when the uh, cross fixed capital formation increase, uh, the uh, GDP growth uh, 
increase to and uh, 0 0.01 uh, 0.61 uh, coefficient mean that uh, when uh, cross fixed carbon formation increase the percentage of TDP increase by one unit the TDP growth uh, can increase by 0 0.61 units so uh, we also have uh, the possibility to make a prediction, the forecast of our series using uh, our model. So to do so, we go in statistics, post estimation, and then go to prediction, prediction and the S every statistic, distance statistic, then we click on it and we can select uh, the name of our new uh, variable. We call it TGP. Uh, forecast then we click on uh, OK and uh, our variable GTP Pro has been forecast according to our model so we can go in graphic and go in uh, two-way uh, graph for scatter plot so select uh, create our graph like previously we we'll go on line this time not scatter and then select our x variable that is here now uh, gdp growth focus on our x uh, variable is uh, cross fixed coverall uh, formation and then we click on accept then click on OK and you can see that our scatter plot has been uh, disappearing on your screen with a uh, regression line line that uh, showed uh, relationship and uh, here this uh, red line is a uh, least poor uh, regression line so that's it for this uh, tutorial and we hope we have very well have you understand how to uh, how to run a simple linear regression in Stella.